And here we have Art the Clown in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Do you like my little hat? Damn! Okay, Art the Clown. The ramp. And there you go. It says, Art was here. That's a freaking dope effect. Who else be covering bundles in such huge depth like I do? Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe because Art was here. So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino or Quadigy and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 Multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies. In today's video, we're going to be discussing and covering the new Art the Clown or the Tracer Pack Terrifier Operator Bundle, which as you can see, comes with this crazy operator of Art the Clown that look, you know, it's pretty much one of the most anticipated collaborative bundles in the entire game. So you guys excited to see what tracer guns are equipped with him, what uh, special, you know, stuff he has in his bundle and see if he's worth it. Make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I upload store bundle videos like this every so often, including tracer packs, reactives, mastercrafts, operator skins, whatever the case is. And I also upload high kill warzone gameplays on this channel. So if you're here for any of that, definitely stay tuned. But let's go ahead and view this bundle and see what's up. So here it is, the Terrifier Operator Bundle for 2400 COD points, and we've got Art the Clown as our uh, operator here, which is obviously from the movie of the Terrifier series. And he looks great. Like, obviously, like, honestly, since Saw, back in Mom for 2019, I think he's, like, one of the coolest clowns to actually be in this game. He's got that little hat that makes him so iconic. He's got that bloody teeth. And I've actually never seen the Terrifier movie, so let me know if he's like a crazy killer or how crazy he is and how, how does he compare to other killers or like crazy people. I'm very curious. Here we got the Ram 7 Terrifier blueprint with some tracers. And here are the tracers in case you guys are curious. As you can see, there's like, like bloody tracers and their head gets dismembered in like some weird way. I guess we'll have to inspect it more clearly in the game. But uh, here are the attachments for this Ram 7. No ammunition traces, you can't put these traces on any other gun in the game. But I do like the look of this because this pretty much is like the Terrifier outfit. Just on a gun, you can even see his little blouse like uh, on the on the end. Like his the blouse of his shirt, whatever the heck is called on the barrel there. Next up we got the WSP9 Miles County Killer. And it also comes with the same tracers. And as you can see from the tracers, same effect. Gives them like a crazy knife or something on their head, which we'll see more in game. And here we got the attachment, which is actually a really good class setup. No ammunition, so you can't put these uh, these traces on any other gun in the game. But it looks great once again because it's pretty much reminiscent of his body. You even have the little hat on his barrel, which looks kind of funny there. So kind of dope. We got the emblem of Sunny Disposition, the Clown Cafe Large Decal, the Little Pale Girl Weapon Sticker, the Sienna's Wings Weapon Charm, and the Terrifier Loading Screen, which looks pretty clean. So all of this for 2,400 COD points. Would have been absolutely perfect if you had like a finishing move, but just keep in mind, none of this will transfer over to Black Ops 6. All this will only be available in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cop them. We're gonna see what else, you know, what other secrets lie within this bundle and um, see what's up with the tracers. Let's rock and roll. And here we are with Art the Clown looking absolutely terrifying here in the in the background of the main menu, looking very clean. And of course, we got the Terrifier Ram 7 and the Miles County Killer WSP9. Now, when it comes to the Terrifier, you can pretty much change any of the attachments and you'll keep the tracers, even the ammunition, which is really nice. So when it comes to the camos, here's how the gun looks like with Gilded, here's how it looks like with Forged, here's how it looks like with Priceless, and here's how it looks like with Interstellar. It's a really nice design here, I'd say. Here's how it looks like with Golden Enigma. Here's how it looks like with Zircon Scale, Serpentonite, and of course Borealis. And here we got the Weapon Prestige Camels of One Trick, Molten Obsidian, which really shows off the bloodiness really well there. Mercury, which also looks really great, and also Constellations End, which is definitely like a bloody constellation. So, really cool. I like how pretty much his design stays there, because, you know, you have the little three balls there, the little, you know, shirt uh, sleeves, I guess you could call it, the bloodiness. So, pretty much with almost any camo. You can make this even more gruesome or be a mix of like, you know, retro and gruesome. I don't know. There's a lot of cool combinations you can make here. You know, I like the Mark of the Survivor on this. I like the Rotten Inferno. Definitely the default looks probably maybe the best or maybe like some solid color camos because some of these camos are a little bit too crazy, but up to you and how you want to rock it. And uh, just skipping over to the Reflect 115. I'm sure you guys are curious. And then to the solid color camos, which I'm sure you guys are the most curious about. 
this is how it's gonna end up looking like. I think white is probably gonna end up looking the best here to really like match them. Either that or like any like the darker colors like charcoal, or once again, just like white out, it's probably gonna be your best bet, so really cool sort of uh blueprint here next up we got the wsp9 miles county killer and similar case here you can pretty much change any of the attachments even an ammunition and you'll keep the traces the only way you won't keep the traces is if you use the conversion kit if you put the conversion kit on the wsp9 you will not have the traces in any way so keep that in mind here's how the gun looks like with gilded here's how it looks like with forged here's how it looks like with priceless and here's how it looks like with interstellar i kind of like that it keeps the white and the blood uh with any camo going to enigma Zircon scale, Serpentonite, and Borealis. And here we got One Trick, Molten Obsidian, Mercury, and Constellations then. And honestly, like I said before, I really like that the white part actually gets kept there. So you can make some even more interesting combinations with the WSP9 than you would with the uh, the other gun. So I think this is an even better blueprint just for that reason, because you can put on like a darker color for the bottom, and then you still keep the really bloody parts on the other parts of the gun, which I think is great. I think it's a really great blueprint. Honestly, it's nice that we have like the Ram 7 and the WSP9, because the WSP9 has definitely gotten a decent amount of love in terms of tracers, but the, the Ram 7 barely has any tracer guns. So the, the, the Ram 7 getting something from, from this is actually really sweet. And here we have the bold camos in case you guys were curious. You know, nothing too crazy. The white looks really crazy on this joint. And then we also got, you know, charcoal here, which I think looks really great. You know, and all these other solid color camels will give you a great combination. So W, super W blueprint right here. Now I'm going to show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the Terrifier Ram 7. And here's the meta class setup for the Terrifier Ram 7. Pretty much just keeps its look, which is actually really sweet. Add a camo if you want. Here are the base blueprint attachments for the WSP9 Miles County Killer. And here's a meta class setup for multiplayer for the WSP9, which looks, once again, really sweet. So these class setups and these blueprints really go hand in hand. And here we have the Clown Cafe decal on the SVA545. And here's how it looks like in-game. Kind of looks a little bit weird. Probably will, might look better on other guns. And if you're wondering where Art the Clown is, he is going to be on the right side here, looking like an absolute freaking clown. And I don't think he has a, a voice. Does he talk in the movies? Let me know if he talks in the movies. But in case you guys are curious, uh, when you have him here in the lobby, he doesn't talk. So, yeah, here's his little, like, beginning or whatever. He looks kind of funny, you know, just creeping up. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and head into game and see if we can find anything secret about the tracers or about his skin. But so far, for 2400 COD points, let me know if you think it's worth it. Okay, so here we are with the Ram 7 Terrifier, looking pretty cool in this game. You can see how bloody my hands are as the Terrifier Clown or the Art the Clown. And here we got the WSP9, also looking very, very fresh, very dope uh, here in-game. Nothing too wild, though. Just a little bloody. Here's the sights, in case you guys are curious. Let's go ahead and check out the iron sights. And here's how the gun looks like with the iron sights. And here's how it looks like with the iron sights on the WSP9. I, I, I like the nice little, like balls on the side for the wsp9 anyways here's the tracers nice and bloody you know just a black and red there and same on the wsp9 so really nothing too crazy and let's see if they somehow glow in the dark in any way no nah, not really which i kind of expected you know, I really didn't expect anything glowing. But now let's see what kind of uh, maybe tracer effect we can find. You know, I'm going to put this full on the, the wall real quick. Okay, so let's see how the traces look here uh, on the WSP9, I guess. Oh, when you uh, impact them, they actually have like bloody knives uh, when you impact them, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's really dope. That's actually really dope. So... Yeah, they dismembered into like... Oh, wait, hold on. There's some text right here. I think it says art. Hold on. We, we gotta like... We gotta we gotta see that a little bit more closely. Now, this time, let's go ahead and check out with the Terrifier how it might look like with the tracers. Once again, the little knife uh, impact is there. And there you go. You pretty much body the opponent and it says something. Hold on. I gotta make sure you guys see this text because this is kind of secretive. They didn't tell us about this. Okay, this, they should be able to tell really easily what it said here with this blanket right here. And there you guys go. The art death effect, which actually shows some text. 
This is very reminiscent to the saw effect, the jigsaw effect back in Modern Warfare 2019. Th these fools did their notes, man. That was one of the greatest Halloween bundles and they kind of took the note of that, which I I'm really happy about. Let's do it one more time, but this time with the, the Terrifier, the ramp. And there you go, it says, art was here. That's a freaking dope effect. Who else be covering bundles in such huge depth like I do? Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe because art was here. That's really dope. So if you get a headshot, it says art was here. And if you get a body shot, it says just art, which I think is cool. So here's how you're going to look like to the opponents in third person mode. You know, you're going to definitely stand out because you're a freaking clown here. But yeah, nothing too crazy. Now let's see how art the clown terrifies his opponents here. Damn! Okay, Art the Clown. Go crazy, go crazy, I see you. And here we have Art the Clown in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Do you like my little hat? But yeah, I think it looks pretty great in game. Definitely a much more iconic character than we've seen in the past. And let me know what you guys think about this bundle overall. Do you guys think it was a W or do you think it's an L? I think it's an L with no finisher. Like, the tracers and everything are cool. That death effect is really, really nice. Uh, but they really could have sold this operator home or this bundle home with a finisher. So, that's probably the 1L. Unique tracer guns, unique tracer effects. Just, I wish it had a finisher because it just feels incomplete without a finisher, you know? But up to you. Once again, this, this operator will not be in Black Ops 6. You'll only be able to use them for the next, like, 27 days that this game is out. And, of course, uh, Warzone because everything integrates into Warzone. But, sadly, it's not in Black Ops 6. So up to you, use your money wisely. I think it's a pretty cool bundle. And that's just my thoughts. Obviously, it's up to you whether you think it's worth it or not. But make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. I think tomorrow we might be getting the Halloween bundle, one of the Halloween bundles. So that'll be really cool. You know, the trick or treat bundle. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, stay tuned for any of the collaborative bundles up ahead. Anyways, I love you all. <laughs>